Hello, and welcome to the funky, funky world of Gatto Roboto. It's Metroid, but with a cat. Now, and how do you improve Metroid? You have a cat. Now, first thing I've noticed is it says press Z to start. So I'm guessing it's obviously got a retro look to it. Um, it reminds me of like kind of the NES, but less colourful, so I'm guessing it might be going a bit further back and possibly into the ZX Spectrum days, and maybe that's why Z is the star. I'm, I'm, if P and O are moving, I'm going to get really confused again on this, but um, let's just get into it. Let's have a look. Um, how do I... Oh yeah, oh no, it's arrow keys to move things across there. Um, I'm going to use file 3 just to annoy people. Nugam And here we go. Oh this So a little cutscene. Garv to mission control. Right, okay. Oh I'd impress it if and then it just went on without me. So this is quite reminiscent of um what it was like playing in as game back in the day. You having these little mini cutscenes and dare say earlier consoles. Um, would he even call consoles uh, prior to that? I don't know. Earlier platforms, we'll say, hey. So, we've got this little dude. Um, so, he's investigating something. I wonder when the cat's going to make an appearance, because I was under the impression that you play a cat. He's clearly not a cat. Does he turn into a cat? Oh, no, no, there's a cat. Ah, classic cat move. He just jumped up on the keyboard and pressed the key. That is a typical cat thing. Oh, and I have to press things to move. Uh, you are alive. There's a kitty. Kitty down there. So, Kiki the Kitty. Right. So now the adventure begins. Don't be so perplexed. Most, lots of people talk to cats. And you have very interesting conversations with cats because, strangely, they always disagree with you. At least that's my experience anyway. Okay. Okay. And now I am controlling. Oh. Right, so Zed's jump. X doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, P and O. So it's arrow keys left and right. Z to jump at the moment. Okay. Well, that's very Metroid-esque. Oh, I like that. The way he slides down the wall. That's quite fun. Um, but yeah, that's a very Metroid-esque door. So, clearly they're not hiding the fact that they're um, using Metroid as an Oh, yeah. Love a little. You can jump when you're on the wall. That's good. That'll know that'll come in useful. Oh, water. That can't be good. I can't go the other way. The other way is a locked door. Of course, it's a cat. The only way is forward. I don't think I'm going to get a cat, cat in water, mate. Oh. Nasty word. So I guess I do have to go this way. Oh, crikey. Another Metroid door down there. 
Swing up what's across this way. That's a dead end. I'm guessing I can't get past that. Whoop. There's a Metroid door over there. Something tells me the game is taking me to the mech suit. Oh, I'll save a, a floppy disk. Okay. Ah. Somehow it fits. It's almost as if it was meant to be, Garv. Press up when you want to get out. Why would you want to get out? You're in a mech suit. Okay, now I need to figure out what fire is. Oh, it's X. So. Can't shoot Dag. No, we can only do up or down. Oh. Bad. Relatively easy so far. My little stutter as I fired. Oh, there's another bad. Different type of bad. Oh, is that too far? That was too far away. And I said it. Infinite spawny finger. Oh. Oh, so I can't do the um, jump climbing thing in the suit. So there'll clearly be bits where I have to get out of the suit um, to get to certain areas. We'll leave the frog for now. Right. Does this? I'll be surprised if this opens up. Nah, that doesn't seem to open up the soil areas just yet. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Where's my health bar, by the way? Oh, it's there. Right, right on the side. Under NRG, of course. Get rid of you. Um, that had a soily thing that way, didn't it? Yeah. Can't go that way. Oh, I've brought the plant thing back. Oops, I brought the frog back and I've... Oh no, I've not brought the plant back just yet. Up we go. Oh, I've got myself another little thing here. I'm guessing this is health kit module. Oh, I could have seven energy now. Yes, I did. So I have to take seven hits now. Well, technically, okay, six hits. Seventh hit, I die. Oops. Oh, right, so suit does not like um, water. I'll try and jump up then. Do I get any... Is there any sort of point system? I can't really see any sort of point system, so... I suppose if you see an enemy and it's not in your way, you can just leave it. No extra points for killing them, as far as I can tell. So I'm back at the ship. I'm guessing I'm going... Whoa! Almost. Almost. I'm guessing I'm going to the way I went initially. Fear my wrath, you toady bastards. Oh, another suit I'm going to get. What did that do? Did that do anything? I think it might have healed me up, but that's it. Maybe that's how, like, if you leave your suit at any point for some reason, you can get there and you re-get your suit. So, in fact, what happens when I do leave my suit? Um, what was it? I thought it was up. Um, ah, shifting up. Shifting up gets me out of the suit. Oh, I'll lose that. Right, so I'll, I'll, in, I'll insta dive and get hit while I'm out of the suit. From the looks of it. Right. Anyway, this is, um, I've got to say, I uh, can't go that way. A nice little flash to the past. And obviously, whoa, that's a big drop. Obviously, things will um, escalate. Can't go that way, I don't think. As. It goes, and you'll learn more skills. Right, so I can't go in that water with this. You can. 
Are you trapped in there now? No, no, you've got out. Oops. All right. Right. Ow. You. I thought that was going to be too far to um, reach then. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Just had a massive cliff right there. And I don't know how to get back up now, actually. If I, just out of curiosity, can I climb up the wall that high? Oh, yeah, you can do. And do that. So I can, uh, let's go back down, though. Let's get in the suit. Whoops. Go back out the suit. I pressed um, the wrong button. Oh, can't go that way. Done it yet. How am I accidentally doing that? You have to press two buttons to do that. Bloody hell. Why am I doing that now? Why have all of a sudden am I pressing shift and up to jump? I'm when God knows what's wrong with me. No. Let me for Let me. Oh, boss fight. Oh, not a mega boss fight. Ow. Just a few different enemies coming at me. Uh, all right, so here I'll have to get out of the suit because the suit won't be able to go under there. Oh, into the water. I'm guessing there's an oxygen limit, so... Um... Well, that's a dead end that way. How do, how do I swim up? Oh, I have to... Right. I'm going to go back to the beginning just in case there is an oxygen limit. I don't know if there is or not. I can't get out that way anyway. No sign of the being an oxygen limit just yet. So the cat's quickly got over its fear of um, water. I'm guessing as it's early game, there aren't going to be many enemies here. So. Oh, that's like a missile. Rocket module. That will probably break the soil. I saw. See to use it. Kitty loves that. All right. Oop. You have to stop. You can't just jump. All right. So I have a limit to them rockets. So I can't just use them willy nilly. I've only got twenty one. Bloody hell, miss. Alright. It's not hitting. Right. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, there isn't no limit to the rockets. Uh, the 21 degrees is the temperature. Ah, if I double, t if I tap C whilst the rocket's flying, it appears. No, it doesn't. It just happened to do it that time. Right, I can't go that way. Oh, gone. Yeah, it said so. Ah, so there's, there's only so many I can fire. I feel I may have screwed. Hang on, up. do I have to get? I have to get up to that bit, don't I? Right, yeah. No, I thought I might have. Nope. Right. Is that the thing that gives me the boost jump? No, it's not that. 
Oops, I've done it again where I accidentally get out of the goddamn um, mech. Okay. We're making progress. A bit of overkill there with the rocket on the frog, but you know. Oh, we're back here. Right, if I remember correctly, there was a way up. Oh, another mech suit area. Yeah, that's a mouse. Is the mouse the big bad? Whoa! Oops. Right, this might be where I um, I come afoul. All right, so they explode. Ow! But you can jump on me. Ow! Not doing, not covering myself in glory. Here, I'll admit it. Oh dear! One more hit and I'm dead. We me, oh dear. Oh, there we go, and then I'm dead. Well, um, I'll leave it there, to be honest, because I think you can get the idea what the game is based on what I've played here. I played 14 minutes of the game, um, got to what is the first proper boss, um, and it's very Metroid-esque. You unlock different skills, which then allow you to go to different areas. I wonder if there's little cheat codes. I'm not going to try and find them, but I wonder if they have programs like little cheat codes, which, you know, you can start with all the skills and you just go everywhere. It'd be a bit pointless to do that straight away, obviously, but it's um, just a thought that entered my head because I remember this was, Metroid was very much in the era of when I used cheat codes a lot. But anyway, this was Gato Robato. It's a lovely little game. It's got a nice little retro art style soundtrack is very nice. The soundtrack isn't retro at all, actually. The soundtrack is quite modern. Um, like, but it fits with the game well. The controls might take you a little bit of time to get used to. And you might end up, for some reason, jumping out of your suit when you don't mean to, like I was doing. God knows why. But apart from that, yeah, I really enjoyed this game, and I think I will definitely try and see how far I can get into it. But, for now, I've been the Castaway DC. This has been Indie Games Indulgence. Have a nice day and goodbye.